All right. First match. We're going to play maybe a couple of matches with uh, Claudette being a little bit more um, performance, like good performance wise. And then we might swip, uh, uh, swap to um, a brand new survivor just to kind of make it a little interesting. All right. So far, I don't know who the killer is. Plague. That made it so much easier. Actually go in here first. Sound. It's the plate using that one skill that I don't like. Here's someone. Or something. Let's unlock this. Toolbox. Grab it. Happy Halloween, Vault. How you doing tonight? Also, uh, for everyone that's that's joining in, if you see an ad, let me know how many you get and how long they are. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. Hopefully, uh, the greener pastures uh, come sooner than later, right? Uh, I'm not doing half bad. Um, I was expected to play a far scarier game than this. But it's 20 gigabytes, and it says that it takes like an hour to download on Steam. So, um, unfortunately, we're not playing that tonight. So, we'll play it tomorrow. Okay. Uh, Twitch recently implemented a thing to where it does um, ads that I can't control. And not only can I not control these ads, but some have said that several pop up at, at one time. Like the ads don't really help me or my channel whatsoever.
they primarily help Twitch at this point. Because I'm not making any money off those ads. Like, none. If I was making money off the ads, that wouldn't be, you know, too bad, right? But I don't pull in the numbers, and that's mostly my fault. But it still doesn't change the fact that uh, the ads that play on my channel isn't of my choosing. And that's not something that they could just, you know... Gonna be that kind of killer. I mean, they're not bad. I just don't like it when they're when you're forced to uh, to use them, right? It, it's not always my intention to fill uh, my stream with just nothing but constant ads. How do you like Phasmophobia? I love the game. It's in early access, so I know there's going to be a lot of changes to the game later on, but the game is so much fun. Uh, at the harder difficulties, like, okay, l l before I get to harder difficulty stuff. So when you're playing the game, uh, there's a little counter uh, uh, right above the computer in the, uh, in the in the truck. And that tells you how long it is before the killer, or not the killer, but the ghost uh, becomes hostile. And when you go up in difficulty, that counter gets lowered. So far, at this present time. Wow. That killer just kind of sucks. Uh, so, at a, you can go from amateur, in, uh, intermediate, and professional. And intermediate drops your five minute timer to two minutes. And professional just instantly makes the ghost pissed off at you. Like, there's no way that you can actually get away from the, the ghost or prevent it from uh, hunting you right off the bat. It's that bad. And, uh, it's really, it's when you're playing like the harder difficulties, it's really fun and intense. When you're first starting out, it's not bad, but once you get used to like being able to identify what the ghost is and what traits you need to look for and how to dodge it, it gets kind of boring. But when you have half the timer or no timer, and then the ghost just just right in your face. It's it makes it hard for sure. So watching another homie play it the other night was pretty interesting. So it's, it's a really good game. I really like it. Oh. Damn it, she got me. There's the hatch. Oh, cool. Cleanse myself off of this. And prepare this door. Uh, another game that I want to purchase really bad is In Silence. A lot of people like that game. So I want to give it a try with uh, with the group.
She's most likely not going to leave me alone. That's okay, she doesn't have to. Because I'm moving to the other door. Which might be opened? It is. No, stop! No! No! Uh, it is quite the experience. Uh, In Silence sounds like a really good game because it's like another 1v4 type deal, but you can uh, become a ghost. And then, like, the other four people have to f solve something. I'm not 100% sure what I would need to do for the game.